Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Whiskey Dictionary. Today, we're going to be talking about the Old Grandad 114. Now, if you missed my video two weeks ago where I talked all about Old Grandad and the brand and everything, that one's worth watching. It has a pretty cool history, so go ahead and check it out up there or at the end of the video. But the Old Grandad 114, we're going to go right into this one, and we're going to just enjoy it. So, here we go. No, 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 no. We're not doing any of that stuff this time. We're going fast. We're going to get right into the metrics. This Kentucky Straight Bourbon was introduced in the 1970s. It's bottled at 114 proof, 57% ABV. It's no age statement. It's got a mash bill of 63% corn, 27% rye, 10% malted barley, and its MSRP is about $30. All right, let's just get right into the nose here. So, fun thing about this whiskey is it does have some character, but mostly it's just high proof bourbon that handles it pretty well. So this is gonna burn a little bit when you nose it, but more so when you drink it. But let's see what we can pick out. So brown sugar is immediate here. Um, you're also getting cinnamon for sure. A uh, bit of oak, bit of rye, actually quite a bit of rye. This is really holding up to that high rye mash bill here. Um, the nose on this is actually pretty good and it does, rem it, it smells like a good bourbon. All right, let's go ahead and give this a taste. Cheers. <laughs> so here's the deal. This ABV on this is heavy and it just is like 57% is far from the heaviest thing I've had, but it is not, it hasn't had the time to be well-rounded to really absorb that heavy ABV and make it not more all about the ABV, but that's okay because this is a $30 bottle. I don't expect a ton. But what do I get on the taste? Well, I get a lot of that cinnamon. You get a ton of the rye. I get some oak for sure. Um, a lot of the generic just kind of bourbon notes like vanilla and caramel and such, totally lost. And just that cinnamon's coming through quite a bit. However, I, I don't know. Um, I'm trying to pick out anything else that I might have tasted in here. There's like maybe the slightest hint of like cloves, you know, maybe, but that could just be the bourbon and the, and the rye mixing together. So I'm not sure. As far as the taste goes, though, most of what you're getting is ABV, and that's a little bit of a tough thing to do, like a tough suggestion to make, you know? So if you added a little bit of water to this, which I did off screen, it does help quite a bit, and, and it proofs it down, obviously, a little bit, and it does not bring out any other flavors, but it does kill off some of that ABV. Just a, a warning, don't give this to anybody who's new to whiskey. They're going to hate whiskey if they do. However... As far as a whiskey drinker who is watching this channel, this is a... I'm going to go right into the overall here. Like, what do I think? My real opinion, if I'm being honest with myself, is this is a try it and not a buy it. Even at $30. Because I think that there's other stuff that you could buy for that $30 that would be more enjoyable. Fighting Cock, actually, believe it or not, comes uh, to, to mind as an option. This one is good. As far as old granddad goes, I, I didn't get a chance to try the bottled and bond. And unfortunately, the shipping, I bought this and I bought the bottled and bond and it was supposed to both come at the same time. And I was going to do a versus episode for this one, but the bottled and bond was sold out. Blah, 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 blah. So I ended up with just this one. So I don't know about the bottled and bond. But when I drank this first, it really is just too high ABV and not rounded enough to be that enjoyable. So if you drink this, if you want it, add some water, it'll be much better. Or put it in a cocktail, it'll be much better. Or put an ice cube in it, it'll be much better. But I I can't really recommend this one um, anything more than a try it, even at the price point. I just don't think it's worth it. Unless, last little bit, last little note here, unless you want to make cocktails with it. In which case, the proof of this is going to hold up to that cocktail real well, and I think you've got a good good cocktail on your hands. So that does it for this episode of the Whiskey Dictionary. Go check out the Discord. Um, we talk about whiskey all the time. We talked about this one quite a bit. And a lot of people actually oddly shared my uh, same opinion, which I was a little nervous to give because I feel like the internet as a whole really likes this whiskey. It's just not for me. Anyway, um, make sure you guys are doing a good job with your 2023 whiskey challenge. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, check out the link up there um, or down in the description. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Cheers.